In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the meta offense that pretty much every pro player at least runs some of in Madden 23. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the channel. We do videos like this every single day trying to help people become better Madden players, and I wanted to give you a defensive scheme that I really like to utilize whenever my opponent is running gun tight. Now, gun tight or gun tight offset tight end has been one of the most popular formations year in and year out, and here in Madden 23, because of the effectiveness of man-to-man -man coverage you are seeing a lot of people shift to a gun tight style of offense or at least have elements of the gun tight formation while they are in their scheme so what i wanted to do in this video is show you my favorite defense for gun tight and show you why it is so effective so what we're going to do here is come out in the gun tight offset tight end i am in the green bay packers playbook on offense and we're going to show you again my favorite way to defend this so i'm just going to come out in um, drive out which i think is one of the better uh, plays in this formation and then on our defensive side of the ball, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come out and we're going to put our ball in air defense to play ball, our option defense on conservative. But most importantly, we're going to put our zone coverage set to match coverage. Now, if you don't have this setting in your coaching adjustments, maybe on current gen, um, this will still play match coverage. If you don't have this setting, you just need to make sure you don't have any zone drop set for this defense. Now, I actually released an entire defensive ebook explaining the ins and outs of match defense, how all of the rules apply, the best adjustments to use, when to use each coverage, against what formation, and how to adjust to the best formations in the game. If you want to learn everything about match coverage, make sure that you join my Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of my ebooks, all the updates to those ebooks, and any other exclusive tips that we release, kind of helping people combat the meta. So if you want to get access to that, I would really encourage you to sign up. It's only 10 bucks, and we've already released over six ebooks on the Patreon. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this coverage here. This is a really, really good coverage. I'm just going to put some safeties in so I have a little bit better pass coverage. And we're going to come out in big nickel over G. And we're going to go ahead and put our packages to the slot cornerback package. This is going to give us kind of standard nickel normal type of adjustments. And the play that we're going to actually use to guard this is cover four palms. Now, cover four palms is only found in the big nickel over G and the dime two, three, six, at least off the top of my head. And those uh, we have complete breakdowns on both of those defenses in the Patreon beyond just the match coverage. We show you how to get great pass rush from them, how to get pressure, how to stop the run, all that stuff. But you can also use cover four quarters and I'll just throw that in the audibles. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this is if you take a look here against compression, when we come out in the cover four match and the cover four palms, you're going to notice a couple things. First and foremost, you're going to notice that if they try to run a patented bench concept to the right side of the screen, you're going to see here that this is going to play it absolutely perfectly, of course, as long as he actually jumps that route. I'll show you that one more time. So you'll see here again, this corner route will be bagged to the right side of the screen. The safety will basically lurk back. There you see we get the proper animation and he is able to intercept the ball. They basically cannot throw any corner route to the back side of the formation. Um, it doesn't matter who's on the corner. So even if they want a corner route and a streak route, you're going to see this coverage just really do a great job of defending any kind of flood concept to the right side. However, on the left side, if they have a good receiver in this position right here, this can cause some issues in the match coverage. Sometimes this player will get a crazy glitchy separation. It depends kind of honestly on the type of match coverage you are in and also the adjustments that you've made to your match coverage. So we'll show you here. You'll probably see a couple times he will eventually get over the top on him. But I want to show you my favorite adjustment for cover four palms against tight sets. It's really simple. All we're going to do is shade our coverage down. We're just going to simply shade our coverage underneath. And then I like to bluff blitz the defense, a defensive lineman. You don't have to to do that but i like to bluff blitz a defensive lineman this is also going to be really good zero on trap defense and basically if i see this corner out i'm going to kind of go help on this but a lot of times by shading the coverage down it's going to communicate to that safety that he is indeed responsible for that corner route and he needs to go defend it accordingly so as you can see here, we're able to stop corner routes on both sides of the formation now i am going to audible around here a little bit go to the play y out now this play has a little bit of a sharper corner route 
uh, to Mike Evans. It also has that rounded out route over there on the right side. Again, we're just going to shade our coverage down, and I want you to watch how this plays. You're going to see that this corner run on the left side is going to get some pretty decent separation. Now, the way that you combat that with your defense, at least in my personal opinion, is we can actually come out and we can create a cover three, if you will, especially in Madden uh, 23. So the beauty of this is if I just simply outside third, this right side corner or this left side corner, that Y out play is going to be a lot less effective um, than it was because again, these outside thirds this year, if they don't have pull routes, it's nowhere near as good. So you see he's running that right into the outside third and we are able to bracket that, that pattern that is so problematic in this coverage. So again, fairly simple setup. All we're doing is shading our coverage down. And then if you are having any issues stopping the corner route to the two wide receiver side, um, the side opposite of the running back, just make sure you outside third that guy and you're going to be able to take away those speed outs that are so pesky against man those corner routes the whip routes all of that stuff and you have the freedom in the middle of the field now this is just a brief breakdown we have a, a complete tutorial on everything that they can do from compression in our uh, match coverage defensive ebook again i would really encourage you if you want to learn the ins and outs of how to run match coverage as a complete defensive system and how to adapt it formation to formation and have it be your base defense in man 23 i believe this is the best base way to play coverage in Madden 23. So if you want to check that out, make sure you get in our Patreon. You'll get access to all of our eBooks, including our Big Nickel Over G, our Dime 236 mini scheme that we just put out, um, our a gun bunch offensive ebook and our gun trips tight in offensive ebook we've got more stuff coming right around the corner as well thanks for watching the video and again if you want to sign up for the patreon head down to the description below click the link down below and we will see you guys over at the patreon